The recommended target HbA1c to minimize the risk of vascular complication in diabetic individuals is The options are 10% or more, 8%, 7% or less and 9% so uh, first of all we have to understand how to make the diagnosis of the uh, diabetes and before that we should know the classic symptoms the classic symptoms of diabetes so what are the classic symptoms of diabetes the classic symptoms are considered as polyphasia then we have the polydipsia polyuria and the weight loss now these are the various symptoms that are called as the classic symptom and sometimes polyphagia is not considered as the classic symptom because it is not measurable right all other entities are measurable for example polydipsia you can measure how many how much liters of uh, water you are uh, drinking in a day then polyuria uh, urine can be measured of course and weight loss can also be measured so these are the things that can be measured but if we see the polyphagia that cannot be measured so sometimes it is considered out of the classic symptoms as well now coming to the diagnosis of the diabetes so first of all we should understand how to make the diagnosis of the diabetes for making that we should have the knowledge of classic symptoms if the patient is having the classic symptoms plus the random blood sugar is more than or equal to 200 milligram percent that time you can consider that the patient is diabetic now what if the patient is asymptomatic yes if the patient is asymptomatic there are chances that patient can be diabetic as well in that case if the fbs that is the fasting blood sugar is more than is more than actually not equal to but more than 126 milligram percent and if you measure it after two hours after giving 75 gram of glucose if the postprandial blood sugar is measured the value is more than 200 milligram percent then also you can consider the patient is diabetic okay now if the asymptomatic patient is there and in the asymptomatic patient the hba1c levels are more than or equal to 6.5 percent then also you are going to call the patient as diabetic now out of all these tests hba1c is the most reliable or most accurate test right and if you have given all these uh, options in the answer suppose you are asked about the diagnosis of the uh, diabetes and you are given all these values so you will be choosing this particular value because this is going to be the best answer out of these so that is something uh, important for the exam now coming to the hba1c now this hba1c which is also known as the glycosylated hemoglobin basically it is a retrospective test it is a retrospective test and this is not a one-time value actually it gives an average value of the blood sugar level of last three months so that is going to give you average value of blood sugar level of last three months and that's why this is more reliable right this is an retrospective test and it is not affected by exercise and fasting that is also a important thing about this so basically how to get the hba1c uh, the blood glucose sugar level and average value uh, from HbA1c actually so the average blood sugar level if you want to get from HbA1c so you will be simply multiplying this HbA1c with 25 and you'll be getting the uh, milligram percent of the uh, value of your blood sugar level okay for example if a patient is having 10% uh, as the um, HbA1c so the blood sugar level is going to be 10 into 25 that is around 250 that is an average value of the blood sugar in last three months so that is the importance of hba1c so if the patient is having more than or equal to 6.5 6.5 percent of the hba1c the patient is called as diabetic now the recommended target for hba1c to minimize the risk of vascular complication in diabetic individuals should be seven percent right it again depends on the type of the diabetes but generally it should be seven percent or less sometimes it can be 7.5 percent or less in other uh, measures also but yes out of these options we have seven percent or less as the best option here and we are going to get the third option as the correct option in this case